Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another Jurassic World Chaos Theory news video. In today's video, we're going over something I once again covered back on Twitter last week or so. So, this news isn't exactly brand new, however provides for an interesting amount of speculation to discuss. So today, we're going to be discussing a returning character from Camp Cretaceous in Chaos Theory. So once you're ready, be sure to get some snacks, sit back, and enjoy your G Fuel today as it's time to learn more about who may be returning in Jurassic World Chaos Theory. With Jurassic World Chaos Theory's trailer finally released earlier this month, we had confirmation of our first returning character from Jurassic World Camp Cretaceous, Darius Bowman. Voiced by Paul McHale Williams, Darius is all grown up now around the age of 19 in the new show, and the trailer reveals him as the main character within his entrance. With him being the first confirmed character, I am no doubt sure that Darius is set to be the main character of this show once again, just like what he was in Jurassic World Camp Cretaceous. Other than Darius, we also know of another character that's going to be in Chaos Theory called Sydney, according to some early casting calls that went live back in the year of 2022, when we first discovered a new show was on the way for Jurassic. So, we currently know of two characters that are set to appear so far in Chaos Theory, one returning and one brand new. However, what if I were to tell you that another character from Camp Cretaceous will be likely returning thanks to the voice actor's recent posts on Instagram and Twitter? Well, this seems to be the truth for the beloved character of Ben Pincus. A few days after the trailer released for Jurassic World Chaos Theory, the voice actor for Ben, Sean Giambrone, or Giambroni, I don't really know how to pronounce his last name, tweeted out the trailer with the original caption from the other social media accounts. Typically, when voice actors do this, they are part of the show that's involved, as they know the ins and outs of what's going to happen within this show, and they're sometimes legally obliged to promote the show by posting the trailers on their social media accounts. Sean Giambrone went ahead and posted the Jurassic World Chaos Theory trailer on both his Instagram and Twitter for a couple of days before strangely removing it. This makes us suspect that he wasn't actually initially supposed to be posting these as his character hasn't been revealed yet, and that would explain why only Paul McHale Williams has posted the trailer from the original cast members of Jurassic World Camp Cretaceous. To me, this confirms that Ben will be appearing in the show in some capacity. Whether he is a main character or not is still yet to be identified, but there's a good chance he'll definitely be in Season 1 at the very least. As for the other characters, well, I'm not too sure. Recently, Paul McHale Williams had a Q&A live on his Instagram, and within this Q&A, someone asked him about any returning characters from Camp Cretaceous coming in Jurassic World Chaos Theory. He then interestingly teased, saying that we'll have to wait and see, and posted a winking face. Now, this is really, really cool because it could literally just mean Ben and the rest aren't returning, and it could literally mean all six characters are returning. We just don't know. I don't want to really get into it too much because I have a whole new theory that I want to discuss in a separate video of mine, probably releasing later this week or maybe this weekend, and I want to discuss the characters of Camp Cretaceous and how they'll be uh, implemented into Chaos Theory and what is the point of them returning, because some of them have a really good point in returning but can't return, and some of them are just next to pointless, let's say. Not only that, but we do have to take into consideration that because we know of Sydney joining the cast of Jurassic World Chaos Theory, we can only assume that new characters have already been added into this show. New main characters, that is. Yes, this may be a direct sequel to Camp Cretaceous, but at the end of the day, it, there's only so much you can do with the same six people over and over and over again before it gets repetitive and boring. So adding new characters such as Sydney is a great way to add, I was going to say replayability, but let's say a, a, a breath of fresh air. <laughs> it's a great way to add a breath of fresh air into the new show. And so with new characters being implemented into the storyline, we can't exactly sit here and expect all six characters to be fully involved like they were in Camp Cretaceous. For example, Jenna Ortega, who voices Brooklyn, is one of the biggest actresses in Hollywood right now, and undoubtedly she's going to be very, very busy. I mean, less busy now because she left Scream, which is great. But she's still working on Wednesday Season 2, and probably other projects we don't even know that she's going to be appearing in yet. And because she's one of the brightest and hottest stars out there right now in Hollywood, having her to return in an animated Jurassic World series doesn't make too much sense unless she wants to do it for the sake of love. 
But she is a weird one because Brooklyn is such a main character, in my opinion, was the main character of Camp Cretaceous. And she has so much interesting backstory to her and future potential story to her that it just makes me intrigued to see where her character is going to go. And I do hope that we do get to see her in Chaos Theory. It's just, unfortunately, I don't really see her playing a big role in Chaos Theory, especially considering what we know about Sydney. Their characters are too much alike. So it seems like Sydney might just be the replacement for Brooklyn, since Brooklyn may not even show up in this show, or maybe she'll just have a cameo appearance for now. But at the end of the day, the reason why characters like Brooklyn might not return is because of how popular the actors or actresses are. But again, you know, Sean Giambrone, he's somewhat popular as well, so he's had the time to voice Ben, and it seems like he is going to be appearing in Chaos Theory. We just have to wait and see. But I really, really do hope that Brooklyn does return in some format, whether this is in Chaos Theory or whether this is in live action, I feel like Jurassic has a perfect opportunity here to bring in one of the biggest stars of Hollywood into live action and one of the greatest characters from animated series into live action as well. Having Brooklyn in live action, played by Jenna Ortega in a future Jurassic World movie or live action series, would be astounding and I would absolutely love that and I think that she actually deserves to lead a, a show or a movie or some sorts. So I feel like if Universal really want to capitalize on this opportunity, they should really go with that. And it would actually make up for Brooklyn not appearing in Chaos Theory. Now don't get me wrong, I do think that she will appear in Chaos Theory to some extent, I just don't think she'll be heavily involved like she was in Camp Cretaceous. I really hope I am wrong and I really hope that she does appear. But as for the rest of the other six characters that are there, Brooklyn, I, I think there's a chance, but not too much of a chance. Darius, yep, he's already confirmed. Ben is pretty much confirmed. The other three, well, we'll have to wait and see. There are some characters that would be great to return, such as Kenji, because I believe Ryan Potter actually loves playing Kenji, and he's, at, he's stated many times in the past how much he wants to play Kenji again. So I'd highly expect Kenji to return in some way in Chaos Theory. Uh, Sammy, she's been rumored with some Lego sets, but her character kind of, I, I feel as though we wouldn't really miss her character too much just because she doesn't really have any more going for her. She's just kind of supplying the food to Manticorp Island and that's about it. So bringing her straight into Chaos Theory doesn't make too much sense in my opinion. Same goes for Yasmina as well. She doesn't really do too much afterwards. So story-wise, I believe that all six will be returning in some way, but I don't think that all of them will be heavily involved. We just have to wait and see for the time being. But it is interesting that Ben seems to be confirmed for Jurassic World Chaos Theory, and I can't wait to see who else is confirmed afterwards. We just have to wait and see for our next trailer, hopefully releasing maybe in January. We have to wait and see for that. <laughs> maybe I'm being a bit too hopeful here. But anyways guys, I'm very interested to see what you guys think about Ben's return in Jurassic World Chaos Theory, so head on down to the comments and let me know. Don't forget to like the video if you enjoyed, and subscribe to help us reach 200,000 subscribers before the end of the year. But most importantly, all I ask for from you guys today is to make sure you're all staying safe out there, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye bye. Hello, hi, you, did you enjoy the video? Just a little reminder to press that like button and also subscribe. I just want to thank my Patreons for this month on screen right here, as giving me that little extra support really does go a long way. But anyways, I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day.